Hi everybody, Scott Card here with yet another quick Proteus tip. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to create something called a project clip and where it would be very useful uh, when dealing with uh, certain certain applications like uh, breakouts uh, or fan outs for, for small parts or assemblies that you would uh, create over and over again like a power supply. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so I've created this uh, fictitious part. I've made, I've taken this, uh, this very small QFN package uh, part, which is a, a little memory device, uh, and uh, I've, I wanted to uh, just, just make a little breakout for it. And uh, so the first thing that I want to show you is something uh, to do with the property assignment tool. Now. Uh, unfortunately, one of the things that we can't do is just throw a part in and create a breakout because uh, the the pins need to be connected to something. So, as you can see, I've just I've just thrown uh, some terminals around here. Uh, we could go into this and and actually put in uh, some some label, uh, but there is a shortcut, and that is to use the property assignment tool, which is uh, just uh, capital A here. And what we want to do is we want to we want to assign a net to this. And so the net I'm going to call is a. Uh, so the net let's call it a. And I want to increment through uh, from zero uh, to to by one. So in this case, it's my first net that I click on is going to be net a zero. Okay. So a zero, a one, a two, a three, and so on and so forth. And when we want to finish, we uh, press the uh, A, uh, capital A again, and then we can cancel. Okay, so that's the property assigned tool. Very fast and, and great way to uh, throw some labels at, at stuff. All right, the next thing that we want to notice is that we don't have all of our pins connected. So there's, uh, there's uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 of the... Uh, uh, 16 pins that we're going to see here. So we need to be aware of that. Uh, so as you can see, it's 4, 8, uh, and uh, 16. So what are we missing? We're missing pin 15 and 14 are missing, right? There's no 15, there's no 14, and there's also uh, no pin 6 and 7. So we're not going to worry about uh, the fan out for those pins because they are no connects, and we can see that here, if we go to our uh, our property tool or our, uh, package tool, I should say, uh, that there are actually uh, four no connect pins. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to deal with these DRC errors. And if the whole board just needed to to uh, to have that reduced uh, clearance, we could go in and change it here, or we can actually uh, change. Uh, or add a DRC room uh, in this case, and we'll make it uh, this big, and we can uh, add some special rules to this. So this is going to be a DRC room, and when we go into here again, we now have a DRC room that we can create something new, and I'm going to call this uh, tight, and we'll give it a a, a, a small. A small clearance will bring it down like so. Okay, so that deals with our uh, DRC errors in that area. And this doesn't actually show up, so we won't worry about it. And then what I like to do is I will uh, pull out some pads, and then instead of, instead of getting too awfully worried about uh, how to terminate this, I'll just put a little via. So I just pull it up and double click. And then uh, from there, so double click and then right click to terminate. Another video that you may find useful, and I'll link it in above, is uh, how to create tented vias. So if you do have a ball grid array and you need 
you need those vias uh, buried uh, below the silk screen or below the uh, solder mask. Uh, that's that's a great way to deal with that. Okay, so here's our fan out, and we've spent the time to make it beautiful. We don't want to ever have to do this again. So we're going to create now a project clip. And the way to create the project clip is uh, starting with the PCB, we're going to highlight everything that we want, and then we'll go to the schematic, and we'll highlight everything that we want here, and then we're going to right-click, and we're going to say Project Export Clip. Okay, and it's going to drop it in a snippets folder. You can change the folder, but uh, it's good enough for now. And in here, I'm just going to call this, um, okay, fan out, and we'll save it. And one of the things that we can do is, uh, I'll just delete this here real quick. Let's, uh, let's do it anyway, yes. And the reason being is I'll show you how to bring in that project clip now. Okay, so uh, we're going to say file, import project clip, and we called it fan out, and we can drop it in. And the neat thing is when we go to our PCB layout now, uh, there is only one part, so that's not very helpful, but you'll notice that uh, there's a little set of scissors on here, so a little snipping tool. And that what's what that is is it'll bring in all of all of the all of the components involved. So if you had bypass capacitors or pull-up resistor or something else involved with this circuit, it would bring it all in together. So very useful tool. Okay. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to uh, subscribe, uh, it helps support my channel. It would be most appreciated. And if you'd like to be notified when I do create new content, make sure that you hit the notified bell. All right. Have yourself a great day. Bye now.